Wah Sien, he was butt naked and we saw every single f- damn thing. I wanted to poke my eyes out after seeing the sausage. <laughs> I've been flashed at seven times in my life. Seven? Hello and welcome back to the hot pot where we hop into different pots of spaces people find themselves in during life's transitions. I'm Joey. I'm Nick. I'm Q. If you're new here, welcome to our cozy podcast. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe now. Join the Taugi fam. <gasps> Join us. Okay, before we hop into today's topic, how's everyone been? I still got sore throat. Uh. Yeah, so I'm a bit raspy. Okay, I just came back from my second snowboarding trip. <gasps> I'm really living my best life these days. Wow. Yeah? I made a lot of new friends and then we are meeting a lot these days. Wow. I feel like I found a new friend group at age 29. It's so wholesome. Is that why you never Joe us out anymore? When have we ever yeah, went out actually. together? We're not friends outside of the podcast. Yeah, huh. actually we don't like each other. So, um, today's topic is what? Today's topic is a very interesting one because we are back with our all-time favourite Reddit stories Ooh. again. This time round, we're going to be reacting to worst neighbour stories in Singapore. I was oh not expecting this topic. I'm yeah. so excited actually. But actually, it's very relatable, right? Yes. Yeah. For a lot of people. Because like, everybody got neighbour. Yeah. yeah. No matter how big your house, you got neighbour. No matter how ulu also, you will have neighbour. Yeah. In Singapore, at yeah. least. That's right. Story number one by user Red Rider 74 My quilt cover was blown by the wind off the bamboo pole and landed on a unit 2 floors below me. Because the rain was very heavy, I didn't go to collect it immediately. When the rain subsided, I looked down and the item was gone. It was nowhere to be found at ground level. So the neighbour must have taken it. After knocking on the door, she denied seeing it. Fine. I went downstairs to look again. Maybe it had flown off. Not being able to find it, I went back home and concluded that she kept the thing for herself. Anyway, I looked out the window again to see if maybe it flew further out. At that very instant, I saw her open her window and throw my quilt out the window. WTF? Who is this Karen? And what is she doing? Hey. This is giving Ishun. Wow. Ishun this is strange. This is ri- ridiculous eh. Okay, okay. But maybe, right, the neighbour downstairs at first didn't see the cute cover. Huh? That's not possible. No, it's not possible. Logically, maybe, she took it. Maybe like her husband or someone else in the household brought the cute cover in. Okay. Okay, maybe. Then she didn't see. Then when the guy came down and was like, you got see my cute cover? Then she's like, no. Then she go in the time, then she, oh, I have the quilt cover, faster throw. So she threw because she, she, said she, she's, know, she lied. Yeah. La. She lied. She lied without knowing that she lied. Maybe she throw so that the neighbour will look down and see it. And be like, oh, there it is. But then she, if she knew that it Maybe was, she don't know which unit. Ma. If she knew that like there was a quilt cover, then she should have just given it back to him. Because she don't know which floor then. Maybe she's she like don't know which floor. disposing of evidence. Yeah, no, so she's, she's trying to be nice. She was like, Okay, if I throw here, when she looked down, she'll definitely see it. I mean, not, okay, nice is a bit of a stretch. La. Nice is like bringing it back. True. Yes. We hate you. Oh, end of story. But this guy also never secure his Is laundry. it a guy? This red, 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 this redryer 74 <laughs> also never secure his laundry properly. Please, if you are hanging your clothes Must use outside, clips, right? You need to clip. And anyway, raining, why you never bring your laundry? Uh, yeah. Ah. He said I didn't go to collect it immediately. Means he must wash it again. Eh. That's not how you should live your life. La. That's why. Doing laundry twice is not very fun. No, it's more like... Some more is quilt cover eh. Heavy yeah. So some more like the quilt cover land on other people's bamboo pole right? Eat, then then no, after everything that, soggy. After that raining right? Yeah. So now the neighbor's bamboo pole is occupied with your quilt cover. Then he never go and collect immediately because wet. So who is the red flag here? <laughs> wow. Right. Let's relate this story back to like real life experiences. Have you ever dropped something on your neighbor's bamboo pole and then a bit paise to take? Because I have. I think last time... Uh, sensitive uh, laundry. Uh. Sensitive laundry. <gasps> it's a bit embarrassing. Like you mm. wouldn't go downstairs and like, hey, can I retrieve oh, yeah, my, my underwear? You got my panties. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tiku is in the bamboo. Oh, I think in Mandarin so... it sounds better. No, tiku. Nei la. Nei is inner wear what? Actually, sometimes this, these are just accidents, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's, it's, there's no way you can avoid it. It's the wind. Maybe that day he ran out of clips. <laughs> Maybe he was going to buy the clips. You know what I mean? Nothing is... Not everything is on purpose. Maybe his first mm. time hanging. Yeah, not know. everything is malicious. But actually, I think the one thing that is within your control is don't hang uh, dripping laundry. Oh, for sure. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Because the washing machine will spin dry, ma, so it shouldn't be dripping already. Yeah. Right? But then all the like... People who hand wash, right? Yeah. Then they just hang. Okay, yeah. let's move on. Next story by Clement Garcia. My neighbor is a. B- 
She constantly lies and bitches and calls all forms of authorities to my house. Her door faces ours and it's within 5 meters of each other, so it's horrid. Once she called the police in during our granddad's funeral, said too noisy and disturbing her rest, her husband sprayed pesticide at our dogs. What well, f*** you eh? I'm sorry, you sprayed pesticide at people's dog? That's you them bad. dog eh? That's quite bad. Oh my god! She has called NEA, HDB, SPF, PA and tried to complain about non-existent stuff until both parties had to go to mediation. This f*** then tried to verbally bully my mom in front of everyone until I literally told her to shut the f*** up. Started claiming she was going to have a heart attack and that I shouldn't be butting in as a kid. I was 25. Thankfully, the mediation officer's neutral stances changed after listening to the countless horror stories and them not actually denying anything. Oh my god, I hate them so much. I want to punch <clears throat> them in the face. Wow, this is kind of very difficult. And these are the kind of stories, right? Puts you in a very helpless position. Yeah. Actually, there's a lot of TikTok videos on this kind of neighbours. The, the banging, banging one? one. Hey, shout out to that guy. Keep posting your videos i watch them and i empathize with you man yeah so basically on tiktok right there's this neighbor of theirs that keeps banging on the walls or the door at like 3 4 a.m and all the neighbors are already very helpless they already called the police they reported to hdb their kids sleep in class because they're yeah. not sleeping at night you know like some of the comments were just saying just move la complain so much but moving is not something that is accessible yeah. and like yeah you want to move then just move you know then people move for one person there should be a system or a structure in place right that even within the confines of your own home home, you should not be harassing or being a nuisance to like people in your immediate vicinity. People, grandfather die, you go and call police. Then the husband spray pesticide at the dog. That one is on site eh. Like, you can make fun of me, you can even make fun of my husband, you can make fun of my parents, grandfather, whatever. You spray pesticide at my dog. I Actually, can imagine should... Joey beating the neighbor. That sounds like yeah. a crime leh. Yeah, it, it is, is a, a crime. crime. It's harm. I will spray pesticide at you. Are you crazy? Honestly, I can relate to this story, right? So, I used to have a neighbor called the police on us just because my sister was playing piano eh. and this was before 10pm and every time they see us they will give us like death stare death stare like Dang. I just don't interact much but the moment they called the police on us I'm like my sister wanna have hobby also cannot she wanna play river flows in you also cannot yeah <laughs> dun, 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 dun. hello <laughs> they play stop huh? the police came the police came huh? then what can they do no they just say oh your neighbour complain so yeah. actually like whenever you move house also right that's the biggest stressor eh? cause you can check everything make sure everything good right yeah. Yeah. neighbor is a question mark. Maybe the trick to identifying whether you have bad neighbors or not is just to like scout the area quite a number yeah. of times. Actually, whenever, like when I was buying my own place or like house shopping also, right? The first thing you do is like make sure, look at the corridor, like whether got hoarding or not. Mm. Like whether like there's a lot of clutter outside. Mm. Try to visit like at different times of the day. Try to listen, like any noise, that kind of thing. Or if they play mahjong. My childhood home, the immediate neighbor on my right, right? They were running a gambling den. Mm. So it's like morning to, it's 24 hours mahjong. And then the whole house just smells like smoke because people are just constantly smoking inside. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. What would you do if you were Clement Garcia? I will not murder anybody, but really the moment you touch like my dogs or my animals, pick on someone your size, nah. you pick on someone that cannot even talk like and defend themselves properly. I might confront I mean? them. Yeah, or 100%. The, or only because of the granddad's funeral. True. Actually, that would be the, la yeah, the first, that, the first thing. That's my first True. Yeah, breaking point. In that situation, what would you do? You know what I mean? I'm trying to think. If someone like... I think I move house. Huh? I think I move house. No, I will be a tyrant. I'll make it my life's mission to make their, them move out. You want to play? Two can play at this game. Two or you, this or game. you host a house party, right? Invite all your neighbours then. You're not invited. Suddenly, I'll be an opera singer. <laughs> and I like to be inspired at your doorstep. Until 10pm. <laughs> when the police come, I just like... Selective mutism. Okay, next story. By tracking airports, my current next door neighbor hates my moringa plant and keeps trying to rip it up. Saw her on my CCTV using her bare hands to rip the plant. Unfortunately for her, this plant is extremely resilient and kept growing back. Okay, moringa plant is also an edible. So a lot of old people like to pluck the leaves to grow, uh, to brew tea and cook oh. and things like that. I didn't even need to give it fertilizer or additional soil. It's now a small tree. She used the saw to try to cut off the stem but quickly gave up because it was not budging. I confronted her about it and she apologized by saying she thought we didn't want the plant anymore so she was doing us a favor by trying to kill it. Actually it's something that I've realized sometimes when I'm walking like public spaces and things like that right some of our elderly folks they like to pluck public plants uh, especially the edibles they, oh a mango and they will go and try oh, to get yeah. it. They will wait it. under the tree for the fruit to drop on it. Eh? If you wait it's okay. If you go and pluck right it's a $5,000 fine. Oh. 
Ooh. The f- funniest part is that like you go and pluck like things like lime and all that, right? You go supermarket buy like one dollar is like damn a lot of lime. Eh. They're in the Animal Crossing era. They want to like <laughs> harvest moon. Then they fish. Uh. Yeah, like this I got. I take it. I take it. Pluck it. Yeah. Yeah, so actually like it happens a lot where like some- sometimes you are growing plants outside, right? Like neighbors come and like take that kind of thing. Mm. They don't want to ask you. They think you won't notice. Yeah, but this kind of thing like if you want, you ask ma. It's 2024. People always put CCTV. Y'all better don't do this kind of thing. Anymore. Yeah. A common theme so far, they like to pick on defenseless things. They are aggressors <laughs> to people that cannot fight back. Yeah. What the plant do to you? You take saw eh. Do you think that these people are usually retired and they have nothing to do? Yes. I think so eh. I think like when people like are not working, mm. then they got a lot of free time yeah. at home. Then they will find things to nitpick on. They just want to fight with their neighbours. Guys, use your skills future. Pick up a new skill, a hobby or something. Mm. Make new friends, go play mahjong. Question part! Nice. Thanks, I'm practicing my opera. Very good. What's the most absurd thing you've ever done to impress a crush? Oh, I feel like you would have done some absurd thing. I love this question. A crush, ah. Have you ever pretended to like something you actually don't? I always do. Like what? What? What's the What's the most you don't like? Then? Like ick. What's the ickiest thing you've done? Oh, like okay, maybe like some people like to play game, right? Then they tell me the game. They're like, oh yeah, I heard about it before. Then I'll go and find like the characters or whatever. Yee. Then I just like. <laughs> what game? When I was younger, I like to impress people mm. by pretending to like, like ma- what maple, they like. Uh. Maybe I got play. Uh, last time, Mitch one. <laughs> Can? I'm magician. Magic claw. You what? What were you? <laughs> Magic claw. <laughs> Magic claw. <laughs> if you had to swap wardrobes with anyone on the couch, whose closet would you rate? I think Joey. Yeah. yeah, Joey actually has a very wide no, range. And I think oh, she man. wear like more like oversized stuff that I can wear. Like yours, I cannot wear anything. Because I got wear her clothes before for, oh. for shoot. If you wear this t-shirt, you can look like Amoti. And this one <gasps> also. Amoti is it? Amoti physical 100. Hey, faster. Come on! Amoti. I watch this. I cannot get. You Wait. don't get how it made me feel. But go and um look, watch back the episodes, um, our episodes, and see. Try to spot which episodes I wore Joey's clothes. Oh yeah, yeah, that's Got true. Got two, I think. <laughs> it's a crop top. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have everyone become smarter and you become dumbest, or everyone become dumber and you become smartest? So I'm gonna pick the one where I'm dumber because <laughs> it's less uh painful. It's less painful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it really... I feel like thinking too much sometimes is like damn tiring. Yeah. I want to be stupid. <laughs> like the, the, the dumbest in the room. Uh. No thoughts, just vibes. Yeah. Because you're so Hit dumb, empty. you don't even realise you're dumb. Then no pain. Oh, you know true, what I mean? True, 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 true. The burden is on other people. They're like, wow, she damn stupid. It's I'm like, like the la, 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 legally la. blonde vibes. Yeah, okay lor. Next story by user Idiopathic Gastropoda. Used to have this really weird couple who lived two doors away from me when I was around 10 to 12 years old. This particular couple used to have really heated arguments, bracket, lots of Hokkien vulgarities and F words, that my bro and I always hear from our rooms. One day when we were alone at home, we heard a super huge fight with furniture being thrown around and loads of yelling. My brother and I decided to peep at them while hiding behind our front door. Apparently, the guy stormed out from his house and was pacing back and forth along the corridor while shouting like a mad dog. Then he started taking off his clothes piece by piece while the woman was begging him to stop. (laughs) (laughs) He was butt naked and we saw every single damn thing. I wanted to poke my eyes out after seeing the sausage. (laughs) (laughs) But till today, I remember his butt being super white. Wow. Wow. That is a new argument like tactic. eh? (laughs) You just no! Take out everything. You don't force me to take out my t-shirt, ah. <laughs> I take my pants, ah. Only left underwear, ah. I street maker, ah. The I go whole condo, see, ah. I go outside. Naked. Okay, fine, okay, fine. No, but honestly, right, if someone does that, right, I'll be, I'll beg them to <laughs> stop, like, calm down, calm down. I'll be like, take out. Calm down, I don't want people out. to see your... <laughs> Let me say no to your titi also. No. I don't know which part to focus on. The white butt lah, obviously. Oh, the white butt. That's I'll, the biggest takeaway. That's take the biggest takeaway. Yeah. If he always take out his clothes and go out, my right should be <laughs> quite ten, right? But he go indoors ma. We all know that being naked is... Illegal. Illegal. Yeah. In, in public, house. in public. Public nudity. And in your house also lah. But this one, he go out of the house, piece by piece eh. Very calculated and... Yeah. He, he really thought he did something. He thought he ate. Yeah, and then he just revealed himself to two <laughs> children. Oh my God, and imagine... so did they. They also never eat. They lose their appetite. Dude, yeah. he pacing back and forth along the corridor eh, while shouting. Eh. That would cause me to be a bit fearful 
um, of coming back home. Eh. Oh. Like in the middle of the night, what if he's suddenly outside naked? His white butt flashing at me. Yeah. Oh my god, talking about flashing. Fun fact, I've been flashed at seven times in my life. Seven? Yeah. Oh. It is an old fun fact that I mentioned before. So the first time I ever got flashed at was with my friends. Around my HDB area, there's always like flashes around. How you react? I she did it. So the first few times you were like shocked lah. The first time ever was with my <laughs> friends and then we were sitting opposite this guy. And then he started staring at us, moving his hands up and down. And then I said to my friend, Hey, why he holding on to this block? <laughs> like it looks like a block of wood. Right. It was wood. Yeah, then they're like, ah, how's it just some more? Then I look at my friend, that's not wood. I tell you. Wow. The area really the hood. Then eh. after that. After that, multiple times it's like around my HDB area. Got the, the most unique one was a man um masturbating on a bicycle while cycling as I was jogging. Technically he don't need to move his hand. <laughs> I kena flash once on the train. My helper laughed at me. What? I panicked. I was like, Tse-tse. he's cuckoo bird in front of me. I remember I texted her I panicked him because he really stared in front of me like that on the train. And he like, mm. he like really arched his crotch towards my face. Because I remember looking. I like to look ma, at yeah. people, right? Then I see button, then hair. <laughs> like hair and like, like flesh. Then I like, and then I texted my helper who was sitting across from me. You know the two cabin, two yeah. cabin, right? Yeah. Then she just keep laughing at. Eh. I wasn't very traumatized. I was more like, wow, there's a lot of hair. <laughs> I've not been flashed at before. Okay. Good for you. Good, Good for, for you. you. I mean, I think this kind of thing usually, the only thing you can do is probably report to police. Because mm. they did actually like, technically break a law mm. in the, mm. like public nudity, right? But I think as a good neighbour, what you should also sort of be mindful of is that if you know that there are these sort of domestic squabbles that get quite intense, right, in your neighbour's house, you also need to pay attention a bit. Because, you know, you never know when is the day, like when one of these arguments become violent. Mm. Yeah. By user deleted, husband and wife next door in my old condo were very reclusive. The wife has some sort of OCD. She will close the door seven times, lock it seven times, then push and pull the door seven times to make sure it was locked. She does it quite loudly too. The whole level can hear. Bang, 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 bang. So yes, I counted. Also, the wife was a hoarder and kept every single newspaper by the door, meaning there are floor-to-ceiling piles of newspaper. Every time they came out or went in, they had to squeeze through a tiny gap because the door couldn't open. One day, I came home and saw they had some pest control guys in their house. The moment I stepped out of the lift, the guys were spraying pesticide and cockroaches started pouring out their house. I screamed and ran back into the lift, went down to the poolside to chill and only went home when the coast was clear. Wow, this is my worst nightmare. Hoarders, right? Yeah. Sometimes I actually, when I see my neighbor's corridor area being like cluttered, right? I try to just avoid. Actually, what are your thoughts on this corridor thing? Uh? To me, I feel like, right, the rule should be don't put anything in the corridor. No, but you know how some people like make it into like a shared space, like a little outdoor sitting area for their neighbors. I feel like if you want to do to repurpose the corridor at your own expense into a community thing, mm. then you must apply for a permit. Mm. But by default, right, I feel like it is easier if everyone doesn't put stuff in the corridor. You can put plants and you just need to leave a certain width for the walkway mm. so that like stretcher can go through and things like that. But then I think that's the thing, right? Like it becomes very stifling. Like Singapore is already so cramped and like we are we are staying in like boxes, right? I agree lah. So that's why the plants liven no, to me up it's the like, place. What is the lesser of two evils, lor? I think it depends on what you put outside. It's very hard to be like, oh, you can cause it looks nice. Oh, uh, you cannot cause mm-hmm. not nice. That's why you know it's a bit difficult. But I think generally to be an an easygoing neighbor, like you don't put unsightly things. Mm. Like yeah. I think plants are fine. I I I really like seeing plants yeah. outside. I feel like yay, like happy, you know. Yeah, I mean, as a plant person also, like, I like, like, that people keep plants mm. and I would want everybody to be able to keep plants, right? But sometimes I see on, like, the, the groups that, the Facebook groups or, that I'm in, right, some people really take it a bit too fast. To the extent where, hey, the some stretcher confirm cannot go through. Ah, uh, oh, okay. okay. when it inconvenient, Wheelchair confirm cannot go through. Yeah, if okay. it inconveniences your neighbours, then yeah. I think, then that's not being very neighbourly yeah, of yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. But I guess, like, maybe sometimes the neighbour might feel like, why didn't you just talk to me directly? Why you must report me? But there's no home, ah. Huh? The idea is that you don't know which. Mm. It has to be anonymous. I feel yeah. lah. But it's quite obvious lah. Sometimes like you are part of a few units at the end of yeah. the corridor, right? Then it's clearly like you or the other person. Yeah. Mm. So True. that's why that's why I think like maybe from the neighbor's perspective, it's like you could have talked to me first rather than reporting me to the authorities. When it's like a question of like 
someone is mentally unwell, mm. which seems to be the case based on the OCD and all that also. La. No matter what you say, it's not going to work. Mm. It's true. La. And the worst thing you I would want to do is that like I then redirect their OCD nerds to, right, to, to me. Oh. By being the one that like, yeah, is yeah, trying yeah. to stop now them from yes. hoarding. Yep. Yeah. Next story by user Thea. Heard shouting at our lift landing area. Only four units per floor in my block. Mum went out to investigate. Bracket. Kepo. And our neighbor's mum and sister were on the floor trying to pull him back into the house. He was holding a meat cleaver and struggling to run away. My mum called the cops cause WTF. Bracket. Kepo. Found out a few days later, he went to his girlfriend's house in Bukit Batok. Bracket. We are hardcore East Siders. What is a hardcore East Sider? Why he keep giving random information again? To try to butcher <laughs> her because she once dated a friend of his before they even met. Clearly, he didn't kill her because they eventually got married and had a kid. Saw him the other day. They are now divorced. He and his family are still our neighbours. It sounds like very discombobulated until like I don't know what the purpose of this story is. But I like that the, the mum go out and investigate. Mm. Investigate. Kepo? It always happens eh. Like, people always like to go out and see. Oh, I like to go out and see also. I like to keep all this kind of So thing. if like you hear like a POM outside your house. I will go and see. No, go one time my neighbor's screaming outside, right? I faster run to the wooden door, I look at the people. Yeah. Oh, but, like, you don't, but you don't go out lah. I like, mommy, mommy, come, 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 come. Yeah. Then my mom. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes 2am, I hear screams, right? Then I get very scared. Like, I feel like I'm a bit too, like a bit hyper vigilant. Then I scared that there's an abuse case that I need to save someone from. Uh. So I, in the middle of the night, I'm like that. Mm, mm, then mm. I want to listen, right? Then I put my ear by the window. Then I'm trying to look out, like, any signs. I'm like, I'm on neighborhood watch. I feel like the internet oh. has prep me for the worst scenario possible that I will overthink mm. these things. But I think better to be, like, safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah. La, you know what I mean? I, I really feel like out of all the stories we've read today, right? It, it just shows that people are stressed and we're all going through like a lot of different things. Not like they cut your plants, spray pesticide at your dog. If it doesn't like directly affect your living situation or put anyone in danger, then maybe just like accept that someone's life or living situation is very unfortunate, like different yeah. from you. And at the end of the day, right, like resolving all these issues, right, as much as possible, if you can resolve it like neighbor to neighbor, great. Mm. But if not, then, you know, there are always, like, you know, the authorities that you can seek help from and mm. things like that. Be a good neighbour, guys. Be yeah. kind. Yeah, let's bring the kampong spirit back. You never know when you need your neighbour's help. Mm. Maybe you want them to water your plant, take your mail for you when you're overseas. Take care of your cat. Yeah. The day I borrow can opener. Do you return them something? The can opener. Next time, if they need to borrow my can opener, I will lend. Okay, be kind. <laughs> So thank you for joining us on the Hot Pot. Don't forget to listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and me listen as well. And subscribe to us if you haven't already. Also, if you have any crazy neighbor stories, leave it down in the comments below. We will see you on the next episode. Bye! Bye. Red Rider 74. Is it redryer <laughs> or redrydra? <laughs> Red Rider. Is it Red Rider? Red Rider. It's Red Rider lah. Oh my god, sorry.